One of the more frustrating things about woodworking forums on the internet is how quickly misinformation can be spread. A case in point is the motor on a Powermatic PM2000 cabinet saw. Some guys have experienced the blade slowing down when they're making a cut. So the first thing everybody says is that the motor's junk. But the real fix takes a wrench. First, let's show you the problem. I've loosened the belt on my PM2000, moving them out about a quarter of an inch towards the loose side. It's all it takes. <laughs> Now let's tighten the belt up and show you what's involved there. I've taken the side door off because it just makes it easier for you to see this on video. PM2000 owners know that it just lifts off of these hinges. When you open the door, the motor and its mounts are readily accessible. This is a real easy fix. The first thing to check is that the poly V belt is actually on the pulley and in the grooves correctly. This is the upper pivot point of the motor mount. So far I've not had to loosen that to make this adjustment. Loosen the lower motor mount bolt just enough so that the mount can move beneath it. If you have difficulty moving the mount, you can lower the blade all the way and this notch in the bracket is revealed behind the mount. You can put a large screwdriver or a small bar in there and get a little leverage on moving the mount. Move the mount about a quarter inch or so and tighten the bolt back up. Now with the belt adjusted a little bit, let's see how weak the motor is now. This is the same 3 quarter inch thick red oak board and the same blade. This is also red oak, but about an inch and a half thick. Now I know that it's possible for everybody, including Powermatic, to put out a bad motor once in a while. But not with the frequency that the internet experts are saying that these motors are bad. So far I've dealt with a half a dozen or so PM2000 owners that have been told that their motor was dead. In reality, all it took was a wrench to fix it.